Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the new Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Ali Khan Smailov, on his appointment as Prime Minister. His Royal, his Royal Highness wished him success in his post and further security and stability for Kazakhstan. National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received in the presence of the Royal Guard Specialist Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa the newly appointed Israeli Ambassador to Bahrain Aitan Nai. His Highness the National Security Advisor welcomed the envoy and wished him success in carrying out his duties. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday held a meeting in the presence of the Deputy President of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad, the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, the CEO of the Electricity and Water Authority, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the CEO of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamal Al Alawi, the CEO of the Economic Development Bureau, Khalid Hamidan, the CEO of Temkin, Hussein Mohammed Rajab, the CEO of Mumtalikat, Khalid Al Rumehi, and the CEO of GSA, Abdul Rahman Asker. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid directed to establish the GCA's financial wallet. His Highness welcomed the attendees and convey to them the greetings of His Majesty the King and his wishes of success in their tasks according to the government's vision led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to achieve the goals of Bahrain Vision 2030. His Highness Sheikh Khalid reviewed the goals of the financial wallet which are based on providing facilitations and privileges to supporters and investors in the sports sector which serves the development of the sports system. His Highness discussed with the attendees the plans and perceptions through which available investment opportunities could be seized, affirming the importance of unifying efforts to make achievements that develop Bahraini sports. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received the KHK National Rowing Team, who won the 24th Al Maktoum Cup traditional rowing race in the 30 feet boat category organized by the Dubai International Marine Club. Present were GSA Deputy President His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and GSA CEO Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the team on their achievements and affirmed that this honorable result came thanks to the team's great technical level displayed in the championship. His Highness wished the team continued success to make further achievements in traditional heritage sports. For their part, the team members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness, affirming that their achievement was a result of His Highness's support. They added that they took forward to continue up winning upcoming tournaments and enhance the advanced level of Bahraini traditional sports. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday received the President of the Bahrain Deaf Sports Club, Ahmed Taqawi, and members of the club's Board of Directors, which comes within the framework of His Highness's keenness to support sports bodies for the implementation of plans and programs to develop, to develop the level of sports and athletes. His Highness affirmed the role of the club in achieving the aspirations of its members to reach the desired development. His Highness was briefed on the club's future plans and programs. For his part, the club's president expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, hailing His Highness's efforts to develop the sports movement in the kingdom. He noted that the club is adamant to implement everything in line with the General Sports Authority's policies led by His Highness. 
Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal held a meeting with Arab Parliament Speaker Adil bin Abdul Rahman Al Asumi. Zainal asserted the significance, significance of developing Arab parliamentary work to achieve the desired goals. She commended the efforts of the Arab Parliament in promoting Arab parliamentary diplomacy, stressing support of the Representatives Council to chart a unified and comprehensive Arab parliamentary strategy. They discussed ways of boosting joint cooperation. The Arab Parliament Speaker lauded the initiatives of the Representatives Council to boost our parliamentary work and take part actively in overseas parliamentary events. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, accompanied by the Ministry of Interior Undersecretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, toured the airport facilities and were briefed on the passport system, which operates through 44 cabins for arrivals and departures. They discussed the development of cooperation me mechanisms, speeding up procedures, and the quality of services provided by the nationality passports and residence affairs for travelers. The minister stressed the importance of joint cooperation and coordination between Bahrain Airport Company and the nationality passports and residence affairs and providing the best services to travelers in line with the best international practices. For his part, the Ministry of Interior Undersecretary praised the directives of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, which affirms the ease of travelers' movement and provision of the necessary facilities in this regard. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, participated in the Minerals Future Summit which is held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques in Riyadh. The summit sheds light on the mining sector in the Middle East, Central Asia and Africa and reviews a number of topics that include the reality and future of mining in the region, the world, the contribution of mining projects to the development of societies and the potential and the opportunities in the sector in Saudi Arabia and the region. The summit aims to create long-term understandings and partnerships in accordance with the expectations of increased demands for minerals in the future. On the sidelines of the Minerals Future Summit, the Minister of Industry met with the Saudi Minister of Industry and Mineral Resources, Bender bin Ibrahim Al Khrayef. In the presence of the officials from both sides, they reviewed the deep rooted historic ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The minister affirmed the government's support of all programs, initiatives, and projects that enhance and develop bilateral ties for the interest of the two people. He hailed the aspirations and strategic steps led by Saudi Arabia, which reflect the great interest towards sustainability sustainable development for all economic sectors, including the mining sector. He also highlighted the various investment projects launched by Saudi investors and businessmen in Bahrain, in addition to Bahraini and Saudi joint projects to achieve the aspirations of the leaderships of the two countries. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, yesterday visited the historic neighborhood Al Trayef in El in in Al Dara'iya region in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which was held on the occasion of the Minerals Future Summit. During the tour, which included one of the most important historical sites in the kingdom, the minister expressed his admiration for the distinguished level and great development witnessed by the historical areas in Saudi Arabia and commended the efforts of the Saudi leadership in promoting heritage sites. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced that the booster shot has been made available by choice for those aged 12 to 17 years starting today. Individuals within this age group who have received two doses of the Sinopharm vaccine will be offered the Sinopharm or the Pfizer BioNTech booster shots approved for the use from six months after the second dose. However, those who have received both doses of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine will be offered the Pfizer BioNTech booster shot only also six months after the second dose. The task force also noted that the green shield will not change to yellow on the Be Aware application for this age group if they did not receive a booster shot. <laughs> 